Hi everyone, welcome back to Clipping for Coupons with Allie. I am back in the kitchen today and we are making a pumpkin pie. All of the ingredients I had in my cabinet or I got them from Aldi. So super cheap, super easy, and also super yummy and right on time for your Thanksgiving Day meal and dessert. So what I'm doing right now is preheating my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And I also have all of the ingredients out that I need on my counter. So for this recipe, you're going to need one can, 15 ounces of pumpkin, that's the pure pumpkin. You don't want the mix already because we're going to add in some spices and some sugar to this. You're also going to need three fourths cup of sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of ginger, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, two eggs, one can of evaporated milk, and that's 12 fluid ounces. And you're also going to need an unbaked nine inch pastry shell. And if you would like to use whipped cream as a topping at the end, you can always add that to your shopping list as well. So again, I have my um, oven preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Here in this bowl right here, I have measured out already my uh, sugar, the three fourths cup of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of salt, ginger and nutmeg and then in a separate bowl i have two whole eggs and i whisk them with a fork really quick just to make sure that they were um beat uh the eggs were beat sorry i was getting a notification on my phone so in two separate bowls, make sure you have your spices and your sugar here. I also opened these up ahead of time to make it easier when I'm ready to combine all of the ingredients. So the next thing that you're going to do is get your uh, pastry shell here for the crust in your nine inch pie crust pan. I did go ahead and use a little bit of this butter flavored spray so it doesn't stick while it's in the oven. You can do that as well. So I have that ready over here. And the next thing we're going to do is mix all of these together like so. Just make sure that they are all combined. You wanna break up all of the lumps if you have any in the sugar. Now I was getting towards the end of the sugar, so normally we don't have you know the lumps in it, but break all of those up, stir that together. And then in your bowl over here, with your two eggs that are already beat, go ahead and add in a can, which is 15 ounces of the pumpkin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I added in the one can of pumpkin into the eggs. And next I'm going to take this mixture and after I break this up a little bit more, I'm going to combine it. Don't worry, I washed my hands, but I'm going to combine it with this bowl over here and then give it a really good stir. And then you gradually add in the evaporated milk, the whole can, 12 fluid ounces all mixed up and now we are going to gradually add in our evaporated milk. Make sure all of those ingredients are stirred well and then you are ready to get this mixture into your pastry shell. Once your oven is preheated and you poured your mixture into the crust, go ahead and bake your pie at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. And then you would want to reduce the temperature down to 350 and bake for about 40 to 50 minutes 
or until the knife inserted in the center comes out clean. You're going to wanna to cool this on a, a wire rack for two hours, and then you can serve immediately after or refrigerate. refrigerate and top with your favorite whipped cream and it makes for a very yummy addition to your thanksgiving meal and dessert thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to like share and comment subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to click that notification button so you do not miss out on a single video